Hi everyone, hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the channel and in this video we are going to understand how to answer the questions on work experience in MBA interview. Okay. To understand how to prepare about your work experience, you have to prepare about mainly three pillars. The first pillar is industry. Understand the industry in which you are working currently. Second, understand about your company. What is your company? What does it do? And a lot of other things. And third, understand about your role in detail. In the last video, we have covered about the industry part. We have covered in detail how to prepare about industry through five or six different pointers. I'll just cover these pointers in brief in the today's video. And then we'll go and deep dive into your company and your role part. Let's try to first cover in short the industry part. To prepare about the industry in which you're working, you have to first understand the industry value chain. Industry value chain is basically understanding different stages in the industry at which a value is added. Then you have to understand the industry size. Industry size can be global or it can be at a India level. It can be number of units or it can be in terms of dollars as well. Third, you have to understand is industry growth. Industry growth is basically the historic industry growth or projected industry growth. Fourth, you have to understand who are the major players in the industry. What is their USP and why are they major players? You have to understand about customers. That is our fifth point. And six, we have to understand about current affairs within industry. We have covered in detail about all of this in the last video. The link for the same is in the description below. Now let's try to understand how to prepare about your company. The first and the most basic thing you have to prepare about company is your company name. A lot of times company names are in acronyms. For example, I was working in PwC. Now I should be aware what exactly is PwC. What is the full form? It is Price Water House Coopers. Right? So I should know about the name of the company. I should know the history of the name as well. I mean, I know for example that Price Water House Coopers is a combination of two or three firms and each of the company has different name. So I should know about the name of the company, which is a very basic thing. Second, I should know about the company type. Now company type here means whether the company is public or a private or a partnership company. Uh, public company is a company which is listed on stock market. Private company is something which is not listed on stock market. Its shares are privately traded and these are mainly the startups in India. And then third is a uh, limited liability um, partnership company or a partnership company which is basically a consulting company or investment banking company or a chartered accountancy company and so on. So you have to understand about your company type. Third, which is a job, which geography is my company is present into? Now, if you're working in MNC, it is pretty sure that your company is present across multiple countries in the world. So you have to know how many countries my company is present into. What is the strength of company in each of the geography? How many people are working there? And you have to know where is your headquarter? Is it UK based company, US based company, or it's an India based company? What is the strength of this company in India? You have to know about this. Fourth, you have to understand how many businesses is company present into. Now, let's say you're working in Tata. Tata group has presence across each of the industries. They have Tata consultancy service working into IT sector. They have Tata motors working into automotive sector. They have Tata consumer products working into consumer industry and so on. So they are present across all the businesses. You should know at least name of the company which Tata group has in each of these businesses. If you're not working into company like Tata, for example, but if you're working into something like, let's say, again, I'll take example of my company before my MBA, that is PwC. So I knew that, you know, companies working into advisory, that is consulting services, companies working into tax, companies working into assurance and companies working into audit service as well. So you should know about these details, how many businesses my company is present into across the world. Fifth, you have to understand about the leadership. Now leadership means who is a global leader of the company, who is a global CEO, who is the India CEO, how many people are there from India at the top leadership positions and you should know the major names that are discussed in a company. Okay, If you're working in a startup, you should know about your founders, their background. If there's a chance that the founder of your startup or maybe a CEO of your company comes from the college which you're interviewing for, you should know about that in detail. Sixth you have to understand is market positioning of a company. Now market positioning means where you lie in the entire market structure. 
आर योर मार्केट लीडर और आर योर मार्केट फॉलोअर और वॉट इज योर रैंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ मार्केट शेयर और आर यू समबडी यू इज जस्ट टाइम टू गेट इन टू मार्केट यू शुड नो अबाउट योर मार्केट पोजिशनिंग एंड वाई यू आर इन दैट पर्टिकुलर मार्केट पोजिशन यू शुड हैव सम रैशनली बिहाइंड इट यू शुड हैव सम ओपिनियन बिहाइंड इट ऑल्सो एट अ ब्रॉड लेवल यू शुड भी अवेयर अबाउट फाइनेंशियल्स ऑफ योर कंपनी हैज योर कंपनी ग्रोन इन द पास्ट वट इज योर कंपनीज ग्रोथ प्रोजेक्शन वट इज द कंपनी साइज इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू ओवरऑल वट इज द कंपनीज वैल्यूएशन यू शुड हैव सम ब्रॉड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस नंबर्स इफ दिस नंबर्स आर पब्लिक and in in case these numbers are not public you should have some ranges in your mind even if not the exact numbers and last is you should know any recent news that are there in the market about your company anything which is happening which is publicly discussed in the market there are high chances if if interview panel will get to know the company name they'll ask question about the recent news so you should be aware about the recent news of the company now third we have to understand about the role so this is one of the most important thing now it's not easy to define role in a very uh, structured way the way we have defined for industry the way we have defined for the company but here what i'll do i'll try to give you just few questions that you can prepare about which might be asked in interview if anybody wants to understand about your role the easiest question that they can ask you is how does your day look like what do you do in the morning what do you do in the afternoon what do you do in the evening when you're working at a company how many people you interact with how many stakeholders you consult is your work really back end or front end how much of your work is technical versus non technical so those things will get clear once you'll explain your day so for example if i tell about my day as a consultant i typically go to office i do a morning meetings then i do some analysis then i do some client meetings then there is always some presentation after that i have to do stakeholder consultation i have to do expert calls and at the end of the day you know i again summarize everything and prepare for the next thing so that is a typical day in a consultant's life now i just tried to cover it in very short but you should have a broad understanding of your day second how many major projects you have worked till date what was the project all about what was the project's aim or motive who were the people involved into it what was the project structure and what was your role in the project you should be aware about that third in case you are promoted or if you have grown into organization have spent more than 2 years what has been your growth trajectory you should be aware about that and fourth is what is the impact of your role overall in the organization's growth now impact can be a global output as well but you have to define impact in terms of numbers if you can find certain numbers ki i've helped company grow by x to y percent or i've helped company's ebitda margin to improve from a to b percent or my project has impacted these many lives that is one of the good numbers or matrices to have if you want to present your numbers in a correct way so that's all about defining your work experience and preparing for the mba interview to answer any question about your work experience make sure wherever you are answering you are not just giving facts but you are telling them your opinion because facts don't matter your opinions also matter if you are talking about industry if you are talking about company if you are talking about role if you are talking about project you know it is not important to give facts but if you don't have facts at least give your opinions what do you think this is going right or wrong what should have been done what could be done in future those opinions will make a long lasting impact on the mba interview panel thank you so much see you in another video all the best